All right, good evening, everyone. Welcome to Disney's Club Coca-Cola. How you doing? <laughs> all right. Thank you all for coming out. We've got a great show for you. And before we get started, just a few house rules. Uh, take lots of photos, just no flash. Uh, try not to record the entire show on your phones. And, uh, wow, okay. And, uh, of course, when you hear something you like, make some noise, all right? All right, y'all. Now, this group is coming to our stage for the very first time, so give a warm Dizzy's Club welcome to Duchess. <laughs>
Wow. This is, I'm, I need to tell you that all day I've been wondering if I can do the show this way or if I might just end up this way. Because come on, this is just amazing, right? Ooh. Beautiful. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for being here. We're really excited to be here at Dizzy's tonight. Right? Oh, yes. <laughs> Am I alone here? No, I'm not, I'm getting no. <laughs> We're speechless, <laughs> which happens seldom. <laughs> so let's just sing then. I support it. How about that? Yep. Salty tears. Those salty tears. I wish someone had told me that 
Mm. No sweet man was worth the salt of my tears. But would you have listened? You would no, not I have for listened. sure would not have listened. <laughs> no. But uh, I still wish someone would have told me. <laughs> but that's the thing about these songs from from decades past. You know, the lyrics are timeless. Oh, yes. And um, that particular song had a little bit, you know, a little bit of an edge to it. It's kind of a cautionary tale of sorts. But uh, the love songs mm, from love back then, oh. nobody nobody writes lyrics like like they did. Those t timeless, sort True. of poignant, meaningful lyrics that make those love songs just stand the test of time. Mm -hmm. So we'd like to do one of those songs for you now by a pair of nice, nice young men from the Lower East Side, the Gershwins. Perhaps you've heard of them. <laughs> this is one of their love songs. <sighs>
Thank you so much. I'll just get you right here uh, every time, Kumi. That truly is a Gershwin song. It lest, is. lest you thought the joke went all the way. It actually is by the Gershwins. They had a sense of humor, those boys. They did. They sure did. Oh, gals, this is so much fun. Hey, it is. Thanks. Hey, it is. Wait, can we do something else first? Absolutely. Yeah. You Not know what first. I was about to do. Well. We've, um, we've been hanging out a lot together. We have been hanging out quite a bit. <laughs> it's possible that I knew what you were going to do. But I would like to first yes. introduce these dapper gents on the stage here, because we haven't done that in like three tunes. It seems it. like far too long for you not to know their names, unless you, they're so famous that you already know their names, which is quite possible, especially when you're talking about Mr. Michael Cabe on the piano. Yeah. <laughs> Matt Aronoff back there on the bass. Jared Schoenig on the drums. Yeah. And there were some more people up here, but we'll, we'll introduce them to you when they come back on. They'll get a big, en big entrance or something. Yeah. We'll come up with a dance or a song for them. I got it. I got it. I'm my back sure pocket. You do. <laughs> I'm so sure you do. Did we introduce ourselves yet? Oh, no. Nope. Hey. Amy Servini. <laughs> Let's do each other. <laughs> Let's do each other. Hillary Gardner. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna do me? This is Melissa Stiliano, ladies I and gentlemen. I was kinda hoping you would. We are Duchess. Thank you. We would like to add to this fantastic melange up here a wonderful new friend of Duchess. Please welcome to the stage Mr. Wycliffe Gordon. He's gonna join us. Worst things have happened to you, I'm mm -hmm. sure. So <laughs> we've been traveling a lot. We've been touring, doing jazz festivals all over the Northeast. <laughs> and we were just in the Pacific Northwest a couple of days ago. So suffice it to say, we know each other pretty well. Mm -hmm. Lots of miles logged lots in the car of, lots together. Of miles with Michael Cabe, and yeah. it's been super fun. But I know you guys pretty well. So I'm just going to turn oh. my attention to Mr. Wycliffe Gordon. See, I like doing this a lot. But there are other things I like to do alone like french fries. <laughs> the last time we were here, in fact, ladies, we shared a, a, a vessel of french fries. Two, I believe. I, <laughs> a that trough, might be, I believe, that might is be. the term you're looking for, and, a trough of french fries. And they're fries. delicious, but I was not satisfied because that's something that I like to do alone. Mm. And, and <laughs> yeah, even two, I'll do two alone. I'd like you now to sort of think about those things that you like to do alone. Just, just, <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you, sir. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I want to ask Wycliffe, what's your favorite thing to do alone? <laughs> the trombone. Oh, the trombone. Playing right. the trombone. Yeah. Well, yeah. unfortunately, we're going to join you on this next song, but we might we might get a little solo a little solo time too. Um, this next song is about someone who is very strong and um, and independent, but also would like a partner or two. I think this is a Sammy Fain composition from 1924, a very forward-thinking composition. This is called Humming to Myself. Are we all done with that? Okay. <laughs> I, need, I need silence for this oh, very serious Melissa. number. Oh, Melissa. She hates us now. We love you. No, You're no, the best. No, no, no. Me and you. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry about her. I've got the words, I've got the tune I've been rehearsing under the moon But I've got nobody to hear my song I'm humming to myself I've got the place, I've got the time Got a lot of love, was it rhyme? But I've got nobody to hear my song Humming to myself It just had to be Ooh Won't someone listen to me?
Keep that to yourself too often, sir. <laughs> Woo. Wycliffe, will you come back and do another tune before the set is out? <laughs> oh, we all got one? I got really no, I didn't get one, so oh. I have to, you have to come back and oh <laughs> I mean, fair is fair, ladies. <laughs> you know, when you asked me earlier if I was excited to play here, I was excited. Now I'm really, really excited. But I just wasn't showing it because my dress is so tight. <laughs> I'm, I'm shaking, but you can't see. <laughs> That's the real purpose of, of shapewear, yes, exactly. in fact, is to just hold everything in place. That's what it does for me. Hi, Mom. My mother's watching on the, the webcast, so I'm sure she's delighted to hear about it. Yes, I'm sure. Wardrobe. Speaking of, it has nothing to do with it, but <laughs> I'm going to make it a segue anyway. Please help us welcome Mr. Jesse Lewis back to the stage. <laughs> A paragon of sartorial excellence. Absolutely. Look at that tie. Speaking of wardrobes, I love a man in pink. Yes. This actually is a little bit of a serious moment. This is a beautiful ballad that was arranged for us by that fine gentleman in the corner there, Mr. Oded Lev Ari. Yeah. This was written by Gordon Jenkins with lyrics by Johnny Mercer. Attained popularity during World War II, although it was penned sometime before that. You probably will recognize the tune, but perhaps... The verse will be new to you, as it was to all of us. This is P.S. I Love You. as soon as you are able they came around to call I burned a hole in our dining room table and let me see I guess that's all nothing else for to say and so I'll close but by 
each day seems like a year. Every night I'm dreaming of you. Dream of you. P.S. I love you. P.S. I love you. Yes, it is. Blues drenched. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this handsome man. Ooh. See, usually <laughs> when you're a lady <laughs> in the world of jazz, you're always introduced as, you know, now it's time to bring on the lovely, which is fine. I mean, I'm not complaining about that. Because someday that, Take that it. too will stop. Take it. But I'm just saying it's kind of a treat to be in the driver's seat now and be like, Look at these fine lads up here with us. <laughs> we've, we've got the microphones now, but all this to say, how about it for the wonderful Jeff Letterer on saxophone. You want me to talk about this? No, I don't think so. so, it wouldn't be a three chick singer gig mm. if we didn't mention the Andrews sisters, right? Everyone knows who the Andrews sisters, are you, yeah? Right? Are you leaving? Are you leaving? <laughs> don't leave. Please don't leave. It's just no. the tune. It's just the one tune. <laughs> but we, we definitely um, have been, we, we can't help but have been inspired by them. Uh, we also, later on, you're going to hear some Boswell sisters who are really more of our sort of groove mm -hmm. a little bit. They're a little quirkier, a little more closer to our left of the center. Um, and, but we're finding out that the Andrew oh, yeah. sisters were a little quirky. Go on the YouTubes and you'll, quirky. they're, they're kind of crazy and you don't know it from the like, you know, boogie woogie stuff, but, but they're a little, Check they're out their dance off. moves. They're pretty cool. Yeah. The dance moves are pretty cool. They're also uh, a little bit Greek. So really? I, I feel uh, um, a growing affinity. Stylianou? Really? Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Well, I'd like to go on record as saying that there will be no choreography for me, but I would like to I'm ask. Gonna get <gasps> Oh, all my dreams have come true. Oh. Usually about this time in the evening, we ask if there's anybody in the house named John or Johnny. But I don't have to ask tonight because someone that I know and really like <laughs> named John is here. This is John Doak John sitting in the back there, that Yay, handsome John man. Doak. He's a dear friend. He's a wonderful singer. And tonight, John Doak, this one's for you. And watch him dance, ladies and gentlemen. Also. I mean, don't do it now. It's also. okay. I'm if putting you, you on the to. spot. But if you, if you were to dance, we would not be sad. It would pull all. focus. <laughs> but for you... <laughs> He would be okay. This is this is for you. This one's called Oh Johnny. Oh. Oh Johnny. <laughs> Oh, Johnny, oh, Johnny, please tell me, dear, what makes me love you so? You're not handsome, it's true, but when I look at you, I just, oh, Johnny, oh, Johnny, oh. All the girls are crazy about a certain little lad, although he's very, very bad, he could be oh so good when he wanted to. Johnny, please tell me, dear, what makes me love you so? You're not handsome, this is true, but when I, I look at you, I just told oh, Johnny, oh, Johnny, oh, da 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 da
Someone. We had a guy in Seattle who said, oh, I'll be Johnny, and his name was Steve, which <laughs> didn't, didn't, didn't work. really work. But we really, we, we have been sh striking out with Johns in the audience, and you would think that that would not be a problem. We're not asking for, like, Sylvester's. We're asking for John. Yeah. And Are there it just, any Sylvester's it, here, by the way? Just there will be now. Yeah, Watch. Yeah. Now. No. Okay, good. All right. Phew. <laughs> so just about everything that you have heard tonight not the Andrew Sisters tune, but just about everything that you've heard so far this evening can be found on our self-titled album, Duchess, released in February on Anzic Records. We have them here tonight. Surprise, And surprise. gold sharpies with which to sign them, so please do find us on the break. Um, at this time... Not you. Over there. <laughs> we'll be yeah, over, over there. there. Mike's not selling CDs for us. We'll be over there. <laughs> at this time, we would like to, uh, to invite our good friend, Ms. Anat Cohen to join us on the bandstand. <laughs> it's, it's actually, it's not often that there is other, other female energy on this stage besides us. I kind of dig it, I, mean, I have to say. I mean, it's be told plenty. It's plenty. <laughs> it's plenty. There's a lot <laughs> to contend with up here. Oh, and she wore a dress just for us. We're going to do a tune for you now that, uh, that we've, been, we've been doing this song in, in many different locations throughout the Northeast and on the West Coast. And I, I love singing this song wherever we go. But it has a special resonance in New York City. There are a couple New York-specific references in this song that people in Seattle and Boston, not for nothing, I love both of those. Well, I really, I love both of those places. <laughs> but, but check the, it, Gardner, the check Seattle, it. No, I do, I, I really have a lot of, I just don't know Boston as well. Okay. But, but I had a great time in both, in both cities. But my point is, there are some New York specific references that didn't quite land. And here in this hippest of Manhattan locales, I feel quite confident that you're all just going to get it. So we're going to do for you now a very New York, in fact, a borough specific, Love song. Why is he recalcitrant in Flatbush? Why is he so timid and so shy? Why is he reluctant in Canarsie? And why in Coney won't he even try? Brooklyn Bridge is falling down, but he won't make the mating sound. That, went, that joke's for all cities. <laughs> it's spring, hey, hey, and the birds are chirping high up in the trees, hey. Between them birds and all them noisy little thieves, hey, hey. them messing up my Brooklyn love song. Do, 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 do. Get wise, hey, hey, come on and dish me up a little kiss or two, hey, hey, hey. If a tree can grow in Brooklyn, so can you, hey. Hey. Please stop messing up my Brooklyn love song. Get a load of romance, throw the scenery a glance. There's a moon, there's a river, golly gee. While you're holding my hand and the scenery is grand, we can watch the barges tow the garden out to the sea look at here hey hey lovers sitting on the stoop they're pitching woo hey 
Cohen, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Hillary Gardner. Oh, man. Hey, hey. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it is not an exaggeration. People walk up to us now and they go, hey, hey. <laughs> it happens. It does. Good it writing. Does. Mr. Lavery. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, sir. <laughs> By the way, how are you feeling today, Oded? You had a, a little, little something in your throat, right? Come yeah. see, come sa. Yeah. You know what, I, I just thought of something that might help you out. <laughs> I think I have a little something for you. No, really? Yeah. Oh. You see you dead. It doesn't matter what your ailment is. It may be gout. I hope not. <laughs> it may be rheumatics. I know the very, very best cure. It beats a diet or a rest cure when your feet are dragging and your knees are sagging and you don't know what to do. A little jive is good for you when your blues are chronic and you need a tonic. Pace your shoes and follow through. A little jive You a little bit leaves your mind. You won't need a Xanax or a Lexapro, and it's a prosy born out of band. 
All you need is just a bit of jam before you know it, you'll be swinging man. Let me tell you, sister, if the doctor prescribes it, then you know it's some jive for me, some jive for you, and some for you know. You won't deny it, it's a sign. When your feet are dragging and your knees are sagging and you don't know what to do, a little jive is good for you. When your blues are chronic and you need a tonic, place your shoes and follow through. A little I thought I heard you breathe. I was getting ready to not talk, but I just like to breathe. It's a thing. Breathing it's all is also all the also good it. for you. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we are getting ready to do our last tune here of this set, but it's a big party. Not to worry, um, because you'll all be really happy. We're going to invite Mr. Wycliffe Gordon and Ms. Anat Cohen back to the stage. <laughs> Yep, party, and we're gonna we're gonna kick off any any chordal instrument. That anyone who can, you're gonna stay here. Okay, well you could stay for the party. I think that's a good idea. Come on up. That's wise. Hey Wycliffe, you wanna come play? <laughs> so let's introduce these guys one more time here. Uh, you've been listening to Mr. Michael Cabe on the piano. <laughs> Matt Aronoff on the bass. Jared Schoenig on the drums. Uh, Jesse Lewis over there in the corner on guitar. We got Jeff Lederer on tenor saxophone. Our very special guests, Ms. Anat Cohen on clarinet. Wycliffe Gordon on the trombone. Thank you all for being here with us tonight. It's such a spectacular space. It's kind of, um, I'm glad we get another set for sure, because I'm not, I'm not done. Um, <laughs> so if you're sticking around, please stick around. And if you're on the interwebs, um, go have a beer and come back and, and join us for the second set at 9.30, because I think it's going to be fun. Um, this is, you know, do I need to do anything else? Is there any business? We'll be there selling CDs. We have the Sharpies. I have a square. You can use a credit card. We did that already. But Anat thinks I should thank my husband again. And since she's known him longer than I have, please help us thank our producer, arranger, my husband, Mr. Oded Lavari. <laughs> so we, we, one of the first things that we did as a group, pr pretty much, right, was we took a trip to New Orleans and took part in this, uh, in a Boswell Sisters um, celebration. Uh, and we met lots of really awesome people. And mostly we just <laughs> ate and drank a whole lot <laughs> and had a really good time. And, um, and made some great music with some great people. Yeah. And this, this sort of, I mean, we, we recorded this before that, but whatever, that sucked. A My whole life story, Orleans. just <laughs> forget it. Good story. No, no, I'm glad we had this then chat. I found 20 she bucks. Just does, yeah, she just <laughs> doesn't want to tell the whole story because we played this song and forgot to wish her a happy birthday. 
Well, that's true. So she had to she had to wish herself a happy birthday during the song. That's why she's she's being very polite. It's almost the end of the group. <laughs> Thanks, Melissa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but all this to say, the New Orleans thing is relevant because we're going to kind of go there musically speaking right now a little bit, yeah. right? A little bit of a New Orleans esque approach to uh, what Will Friedwald called our jazz hit single. Uh, I'm of the opinion that that's in itself a contradiction in terms, but I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. You'll recognize this tune. Feel free to get up, move, sing along.
Let's hear it one more time for Duchess, ladies and gentlemen. Special guests are not Cohen and Wycliffe Gordon. Thank you all for coming out. There'll be CDs for sale on the piano side. Let's hear it one more time for Duchess. Welcome to Dizzy's, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? Yeah, all right. Thank you all for coming out. We've had a great show this Wednesday night, and uh, these musicians are getting ready to hit for y'all. Before they do, just a few house rules. Take lots of photos, just no flash. Try not to record the entire show on your phones. And uh, of course, when y'all hear something you like, make some noise, all right? Any noise at all. Woo! There we go. Hey! Yeah. All right, I'm gonna leave y'all in their hands. Put your hands together for Duchess.
The sheer quantity of champagne I consumed on the break really, I think, prepared me for that big finish there. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, mostly. There is something mostly. about, I have to say, it being dark outside that is helping with my energy level. I don't know. Something about it being light. I was like, it's afternoon in the first set. A little bit chill. But now I'm like, I'm ready. Oh, yeah. Chattanooga Choo Choo, baby. I'm ready to go. Fasten your seatbelts. <laughs> I mean, this one here, she's unsafe at any speed. Yeah, look out, the, look the out. The props coming out of the bag. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to expect. You never know what to I expect. I never know. That's true. I got to watch myself, though, because my mom's watching. Oh, oh, well, listen, mine too. Hi, Hi mom. mom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah. My mom texted me on the break. She's very impressed. <laughs> yeah. Did she so. say that they, they all look so dapper? She actually didn't say anything oh. about our attire and oh. our appearance. So you have one oh. more set, Mom. Let's, let's <laughs> try it. Yeah. So, um, <coughs> hi, Mom. Thank you so much for checking us out on the internet. I know it's difficult where you are right now. Not such great Wi-Fi happening. Um, this, I'm going to use this next song as a little bit of a tribute to my mom because she's given me some excellent advice over the years. Um, the thing that pops to mind right now is don't buy cheap shoes. Oh, That's true. Good. That's true good. story. Very, very good advice. Also, don't buy cheap toilet paper. <laughs> yep. Very good advice. I can vouch for that. Yeah. 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 Very true story. It never works out, really. No. It doesn't no. work out. Everybody's no. disappointed. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> But this next bit of advice is what I want to thank her for most. A little bit of dating advice she gave me a while ago. Mm. Girls. Girls, watch out, watch out. There's a three-legged animal running about. If it smokes a great big cigar and it hangs around at a bar, if it tells the biggest lies, wears the loudest ties, it's a man. If it acts just like a cross patch, has a face with whiskers that scratch. If it's stubborn as can be, mean and ornery, it's a man. If it walks, if it talks, if its habits are a little bit peculiar, and tries to make you think it's wonderful Be on the lookout, don't let it fool ya But if it makes the moon up on high More than just a light in the sky If it kisses you and you find you like it to grab it It's a man Look! 
Speaking of men, let's introduce yeah. these men oh, yeah. up here on, on the stage with us. This is Mr. Michael Cabe on the piano. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Aronoff on the bass. Yeah. Jared Shonick on the drums. We already talked to you about Jeff Letterer, the man, yes. Um, we're gonna invite another special man up here Hi with us. Um, please help us welcome Mr. Wycliffe Gordon, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, oh, he's still wearing the beads from the first set, I love it. <laughs> a perk, if you will, for us. If that we're, lasts we're too blushing, <laughs> we are a little bit. I mean, and I don't blush easily. I haven't blushed since the second grade. That, that's not true. Um, if that last tune was a little bit of sort of tongue-in-cheek mm. maternal advice, this yes. this tune is yeah. some some real maternal advice. It's maybe the most famous song that we do. Yeah, it's right up there. Could I, um, I would like to make a dedication on this tune tonight. I wish you would. Um, uh, we lost a great, great performer yesterday. His name was Theodore Bikel. And um, I think, yes, please, by all means. Um, and while I'm not sure that he ever sang this song, I'm sure that he would have sung it beautifully. And I know that he uh, knew it for certain. So this is for Theo. Just a little girl I asked my mother What will I be? Will I be pretty? Will I be rich? Here's what she said to me
très bonne. Yes, please, one more time for Mr. Wycliffe Gordon. Sugar, coming and going. Making girls happy. I mean, wow. Oh, okay. Here comes another one. I mean. Mr. Jesse Lewis. Oh, yes. Look at that pink tie, ladies and gentlemen. We didn't even send him an email about oh, really? our. Really? That was just something that happened? That was both of these guys wow. with the pink, and they didn't even know. I mean, just that's how strong that's the Duchess vibe synergy, is. Synergy, people. <laughs> Synergy. Speaking of synergy, mm. we're about to call on you, mm. folks. Fine folks. I'm feeling it. We're going to have a sing-along. Second so, set, right? Yeah, second set. Yeah. Although most of you just got here, but I highly recommend just take a drink. <coughs> makes, it, makes it easier for everyone if we're a little lubed up, shall we say? Um, but it's really fun, and I sort of dare you not to, not to sing along because you're going to want to. You can fight it, mm. but you're going to want to do it. So I'm gonna teach you the part, it's quite simple. And at home, on the internet webs, all over wherever you are, sing along, because it's gonna make you happy, for sure. So, and I mean, it might not make the people around you so happy if you're singing by yourself at your computer. But we will feel the energy, oh, yes. the good vibes. We're gonna feel it from you. Yep. So here's your part, folks. Just join in when you got it. It'll be in the three seconds. Do, 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 you, do, do, you, do, do, you, do, you, do, 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 do do you you can do it. I know you can. No one's watching. Do do you do do you do do you do you do fantastic. It'll go to some different key centers. You'll just hear it. I know you will. Feeling good about you just hearing it. And these these folks will help you out. Um, the other part, which is the most important, if you don't do anything else, please help me out <laughs> with this little part here. Mm. The words are simple. The notes are simple. Please repeat after me. I love you. I love you. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> now we just have to make it happen during the song, which will be no problem, because I basically, I try to pretend like I'm not asking for it, but I'm totally, I give it to you. And I'm just, oh, so surprised. Wow, everyone says they love me. It's, yeah. So here we go. I learned this song from Blossom Deary. Um, it is called A Doodlin' Song. you join the group. It's better than being a party poop. What you call Hillary a ball? That was pretty good, folks. Just a little more. Need a little more. Thank you. 
Guy Lombardo, it's the crazy yes. When you know with a dude I learned some two, three, four. Like it so much, I'll do some more. Little softer Perry Como, even softer and this and Say that you love me with a doodle and song. B C D O what you doodly do to me. <laughs> Say you love me. Really love me. Say that you love me. What you call a real ball? Do do you 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 do all through? Thank you. Well, for Amy Cervini, ladies and gentlemen, and for yourselves as well. Yes. In an undisclosed location, we did that tune recently. Didn't work and out so well. I was not when, feeling the love. When it let got me to just the, <laughs> yeah, when it got to the I love you part, it was, I mean, they were lovely in every other way, but it got to the I love you part, and it was just crickets, and I actually was so taken aback that on mic I said, weak. She did. She, in a very New York Doesn't, way, yeah. just like waved her finger yeah. at everyone. Just, it was weak. That will not do. <laughs> yeah, so it thank was pretty. you for saving me from myself. <laughs> <laughs> it was not the way to endear oneself to the audience. I don't, uh, no you stayed hurt. remarkably composed throughout the whole thing, <laughs> I have to say. Ah, uh, good so story. <laughs> and then I found 20 bucks. The, <laughs> wow, that's quite a coincidence. <laughs> um, you know, as we mentioned in the first set, we've been inspired by a couple of different girl groups from uh, years gone by. And our biggest inspiration are the Boswell sisters. Fans of the Boswell sisters here? Does anyone know that? Yeah. Yes, right? All right. Yeah, Marcus. Good. Right on. I like, I like savvy audiences. Yeah. I dig it. So we are going to do a little uh, arrangement of theirs called Everybody Loves My Baby. She's too modest to say so, but it's going to feature Melissa Stiliano. Oh. <laughs> Baby. 
baby but my baby don't love nobody but me that's plain to see what la 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 my baby loves me what now what now why wow. everybody loves my baby but my baby don't love nobody but me nobody but me space in that there dress. No, no. <laughs> it really, I, I have selfish reasons for wanting you to, to sort of follow us around like people follow the Grateful Dead around, you know, it's, it's, it makes us feel good. But I have to tell you, it's fun for you because you never know what's going to emerge from Melissa Stiliano's dress. There are any number of crazy props and musical instruments and things that just find their way into our set. And I don't know where they come from, yeah. but all of a sudden there's one a kazoo. One of these days or I'm gonna pull one out of your dress. Train was, exactly, and, <laughs> and you'll wanna be there for that. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure. <laughs> oh, we're about to get serious. All right. We could do this. Um, this is a well, this is a good time in the set, I think, to introduce. This is a good time. Right? Yeah. Yep. We would like to take this moment to introduce our producer, arranger. Anything else? Label head. Label guy. I mean, he's also Charlie. the reason. The Charlie to our angels. Yeah, exactly. Is what we say. He also, it's true. I like you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> she she after the last tune she just couldn't help it. She was like. Whoa! I was like, oh, she's our people right over there. So you just, <laughs> we're coming to drink later with you. Um, the Charlie to our angels also happens to be my husband. Um, he did all the arrangements, most of the arrangements that you have heard tonight. Mr. Oded Lev Ari. And it's, when the songs are going by so quickly, it's sometimes hard to notice how spectacular the arrangements are, but I feel like on these on these slower ones is a chance um, for you to hear the the magic of the man. Um, this is another one uh, that we think you will probably know without us introducing it. Maybe not the verse, but let's hope that we are introducing at least some of you to this beautiful verse. <laughs> Cathedral bells were tolled. sang on Was it the spell of Paris or the April dawn Who knows if we shall meet again But when the morning chimes ring sweet
missing you in every lovely summer's day in everything that's light and gay i'll always think of you that way i'll find you in the morning sun and when the night is blue i'll be looking Thank you, Dad. <laughs> no, it's time. Oh, it's, it's time. time. It's time. We're also so. Firstly, let's invite up Liz oh, yes. and Not Cohen to hang with us on this tune. Isn't that a Not Cohen, ladies Anat and gentlemen. Cohen. Yeah. And you know, the truth is between Wycliffe and Anat and Jeff. There's just an embarrassment of riches in terms of just amazing horn players. I know. And I really hope that you guys just don't get intimidated when you learn that Duchess, <coughs> that, well, we're also horn players. So. Yeah. Watch out. I mean, out. it's, you know. Watch out. We, <laughs> we've really been shedding, and we think, yeah. we think we've got this together. We're ready. <laughs> if you feel like you can add something, you know. You yeah, can feel free. <laughs> just, you know, we've really. Um, <laughs> You want to? We, maybe we should trade. No, just kidding. Um, <laughs> for those of you who are frightened and thinking about perhaps a trip to the restroom or out the out door, the door. <laughs> um, I will tell you that it's it's just the shortest of short moments with these very fantastic looking. However, they are still kazoo's. So um, this is an Andrews Sisters tune. We think we think you might know it. Please enjoy and don't <laughs> hate us for the kazoos. <laughs> we forgot to tell the sound guys. Hey, by the way. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, <laughs> we brought these. We're going to play some kazoo on this one. <laughs> we apologize. <laughs> One loved soldier, one loved sailor, and one loved a lad from the Marines. Oh, the three little sisters, they were the fairest from Iceland to the Philippines. So said the soldier, so said the sailor, and so said the lad from the Marines. And when the boys marched away, Said they'd be true until the boys came back someday. Now the three little sisters, three little sisters, stay home and read their magazines. You can tell it to the soldiers, tell it to the sailors, and tell it to the Marines.
first of all from Iceland right to the Philippines. Ah, 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 ah. So said the soldier. Uh, that we really love doing live, and uh, it is not on our CD. Not. Which, let's face it, with the kazoos, maybe it wouldn't <laughs> have been the most, yeah, I think maybe the folks at Sear Sound would have laughed at us a little bit. <laughs> like, guys, we'd really love to record here and play these kazoos. But almost everything that you have heard thus far mm -hmm. yeah. can be found on our album, which is eponymous, self-titled. I learned, I looked That's that up. Word. I looked that up. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm very fancy. We're here at Dizzy's Club Coca-Cola, uh -huh. here at Jazz at Lincoln Center. Yeah. Sorry. That better. happens occasionally. It just kind of happens. <laughs> with us, yeah. So <laughs> thank you, Jared. Thank you. So we do have a CD. The, the point of that little amble off into tangent land is that we have a CD. We have them here. We have gold Sharpies. We'll sign them. We'll, we'll kibitz it. It'll be really great for, for, for all of us, for all parties concerned. But um, we're going to continue now with another tune that is perhaps for the next CD. Perhaps. Yeah, we were invited, that. yeah, maybe. We were invited by uh, Will Friedwald to participate in the Sinatra-thon. You see, 2015 is Frank Sinatra's centennial. And there was an all day, all night celebration of the chairman of the board and our intrepid friend, arranger, cohort, Oded Lavery, wrote a big band arrangement for its tune called Here's to the Losers. Sinatra had kind of a thing about underdogs. He did. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna do that for you now. Here's to the losers. Cheers. Nobody here, by the <laughs> way. It's it's a it's an abstract thing for for people, you know, somewhere out there. Nobody here is a loser. No, not wisely, but too well. To the girl who sighs with envy when she hears the wedding bell. To the guy who'd throw a party if he knew someone to call. Here's to the losers, bless them all. Here's to those who drink their dinner when the lady doesn't show to the girl who waits for kisses underneath the mistletoe to those lovely summer lovers when the leaves begin to fall here's to the losers bless them all hey tom dick and harry drowned in champagne here's the last toast of the evening here's to those who still believe all the losers will be winners all the givers shall receive here's to trouble free tomorrows may your sorrows all be small here's to the
wisely, no, not wisely, but too well to the girl who sighs with envy when she hears the wedding bell. Calling a little set change. Call it an audible. Is that what it's called? I was going to say mulligan. Clearly, oh, I was wrong. <laughs> I don't know. That's the only thing that came to my mind. Mulligan? mulligan. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is that a Canadian thing, and I just don't know about no. it? Nope. It's I'm not. Sure it's in <laughs> Cervini thing. Oh. I totally made it up, and it doesn't mean anything like I wanted it to mean audible. Yeah. It's. It's, <laughs> it's not Italian. <laughs> wow. We have, we have hecklers. We have. <laughs> If you're gonna have you know you've at made least it. buy us a drink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. That's how we know we've, we've arrived. Yes. Yeah. Um, we're gonna redo some. There weren't so many people here from the first no, set. Most and of I feel you like guys are, are yeah, just came except in, right? for the internet people, but we can't hear them, so that's cool. Yeah. Um, we're gonna redo. This is sort of our theme song, I think. Hasn't it sort of become that? We tried to put it later in the set. It doesn't really work. We like to just like come out of the gate with this tune. Except for right now when it's totally going to work. And it's going to have work. it later in the set. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be I great. think it's going to be great. Um, this, this is Peggy Lee. Yeah. Who's awesome. Yes. It's not just Peggy Lee, though. It's also a little Hillary Gardner in there. It is. And a little Odette Lever. You're going to, you know us pretty well by now. That's, that's how this works at a Duchess show. You get to know us pretty well. Uh -huh. And we get to know you a little bit. But you're going to get to know even more about us mm. through this tune. Yep. Uh, oh, can I just do a quick thing? Yes. Um, I would like to say happy birthday to a fan of ours uh, from Brazil that oh. I just met, Joao. Happy birthday, friend. Happy birthday, Welcome. Happy birthday, Joao. I don't like it. <laughs> All right. So here it is. This is We Love, love Being you. Here With You. Together, I 
all the guys so that she that's did all right. listen that. if the shoe fits you just have to accept it <laughs> you have to those days were long ago so I would like to take this opportunity to once again thank these tremendous musicians up here on stage with us this is Michael Cave on the piano Matt Aronoff on the bass Jared Schoenig on the drums Jesse Lewis on guitar Jeff Letterer on the tenor saxophone our very, very special guests, Ms. Anat Cohen on clarinet. And Mr. Wycliffe Gordon on trombone. That there is Amy Servini. <laughs> Miss Hillary digs all the guys gardener. <laughs> and Melissa Stiliano. Yeah. Thanks to everybody here. At Thanks to everybody here at Dizzy's, and thank you for making us sound so good. Yes, Taking thank such you, good everyone. Care of us. It's really been such a pleasure to be here. Um, we have one more, is what this is all about. And then we have a great big stack of CDs. We do. And we'd love to sign for you. Gold Sharpies, yep. in case, you know, um, it is uh, Yom Kippur. No, that's not a no, holiday not that yet. we give gifts. I'm as goyish no, as they no, come, no, and I know No, no, but I'm saying that. coming up. We're planning it's ahead, okay. trying to include everyone. I'm just going sort of chronologically, but that's not a good one for gifts. That was bad. No, nope, yeah. over. 
Anyway, there's bound to be a birthday, really, in your future. So we're just, we're just trying to encourage Check you to plan Facebook ahead. Check your Facebook feed thing. You'll find some there. <laughs> yeah, right? One for every day of the year. <laughs> Think fact. of the jump you'll get on your holiday shopping. Uh, we are going to end with the Boswell Sisters tune here for you. Um, thank you all for being here and for singing along. It really makes yeah. a difference when you're on board. Yeah. So thank you for being on board. Um, we hope to see you again soon. We have a mailing list too, so um, please sign up and we aren't super annoying. We just send you stuff when we're doing stuff. So, um, And for the people at home, you can find us at duchesstrio.com. You're so smart. Yeah, sometimes. That is true. Always thinking. All right, here we go. Got the heebie jeebie blues, we call it long. Well, come on down just a little bit, Joy. Say, baby, don't you know it? Come on, Joy, honey, don't feel blue. Say, come on down and do that dance. Call the heebie, the heebie jeebie dance. Call the heebie jeebie dance. Oh.
heave a deep blue Yes, we call it long Well, come on down just a little bit, Joy Say, baby, don't you know it Come on, show it, honey, don't feel blue 